The Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal, page 71, chapter E. Earnest money. The good, a good faith deposit made by a purchaser as the consideration component of a binding contract. In real property transactions, this deposit is frequently applied to the buyer's down payment. Earning power. The capacity to generate income. Earnings. See income. Earnings approach. See income capitalization approach. Earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. E-B-I-T-D-A is the acronym. In accounting, revenue minus operating expenses, which are excluding income taxes, interest, depreciation, or impairment, and amortization, the result is a measure of net income. Easement. The right to use another's land for a stated purpose. See also affirmative easement, conservation easement, easement appurtenant, easement by prescription, easement in gross, historic preservation easement, negative easement. Easement appurtenant, an easement that is attached to benefits and passes with the transfer of the dominant easement, runs with the land for the benefit of the dominant estate and continues to burden the servient estate, although such an estate may be transferred to new owners. See also easement and gross. Easement by prescription, the right to use another's land, which is established by exercising this right openly, hostilely, and continuously over a statutory period of time. Easement in gross, an easement that benefits a legal person or entity which could be an individual, corporation, partnership, LLC, government entity, etc. And not a particular tract of land. An easement having a servient estate, but no dominant estate. See also easement appurtenant. E-B-I-T-D-A. See earnings before interest, taxa taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Echo Hotel. A commercial or resort hotel that is constructed and operated in an environmentally friendly manner. Also known as sustainable hotel or green hotel. E-commerce, the use of computers and electronic communications in business transactions may include the use of electronic money exchange, internet advertising, websites, online databases, computer networks, and point of sale, POS computer systems. Econometrics, the application of, st of statistics, mathematical economics, and economic theory to the study of economic relationships. Economic age life method, a method of estimating depreciation in which the ratio between the effective age of a building and its total economic life is applied to the current cost of the improvements to obtain a lump sum deduction 
also known as the age life method. See also modified economic age life method. Economic approach. See income capitalization approach. Economic base. The industries and economic activities that generate employment and income in an area used by appraisers to examine employment as an indicator of demand for real estate. Economic base analysis, a survey of the industries and businesses that generate employment and income in a community, as well as a study of functions of employment, such as the rate of population growth and levels of income. Economic base analysis is used to forecast the level and composition of future economic activity, specifically the relationship between basic employment which brings income into a community, and non-basic employment, which provides services for workers in the basic employment sector, is studied to predict population, income, and other variables that affect real property values or land use. See also basic activities, non-basic activities, non-basic income. Page 72, economic base multiplier. See basic multiplier. Economic characteristics. Number one, characteristics that affect a property's income. Number two, an element of comparison in the sales comparison approach. Comparable sales can be adjusted for differences in property attributes that affect income, such as operating expenses, quality of management, tenant mix, rent concessions, lease terms, lease expiration dates, renewal options, and lease options such as recovery clauses. Economic depreciation. See external obsolescence. Economic expansion. An economic upswing in the business cycle characterized by growing employment, production, and income with stable or moder moderately rising prices. Economic feasibility. A condition that exists when prospective earning power is sufficient to pay a requisite rate of return on the completion cost, which means including indirect costs, in other words, the estimated value at completion equals or exceeds the estimated cost in reference to a service or property where revenue is not a fundamental consideration. Economic feasibility is based on broad comparison of costs and benefits. Economic impact report.
a report detailing a major real estate project's potential impact on the local economy, which may include estimates of the project's market value and potential gross sales, as well as indications of its business, occupational, and tax impact on the community. Economic Indicator C Business Cycle Indicators BCIs Economic Life The period over which improvements to real estate contribute to property value. Economic Obsolescence C External Obsolescence Economic Profit Number 1 the difference between sales revenue and the full opportunity cost of resources involved in producing goods or services, also called pure profit. Number two, in economics, the term refers to excess profit. For instance, a payment to a unit of production in excess of the amount necessary for the unit of production to be put into service in its present use, also called economic profit or pure profit. Economic rent. In appraisal, a term sometimes used as a synonym for market rent. More precisely, economic rent refers to the amount of rent necessary to provide an adequate return on development cost. Economics A social science concerned with the description and analysis of the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. See also Econometrics, Economic Base Analysis, Investment Analysis, Macroeconomics, Microeconomics Economic Unit Number 1 A portion of a larger, which means parent, parcel Vacant or improved That can be described and valued as a separate and independent parcel Physical characteristics such as location, access, size, shape existing improvements, and current use. Page 73. Are considered when identifying an economic unit. The economic unit should reflect marketability characteristics similar to other properties in the market area. In appraisal, the identification of economic units is essential in highest and best use analysis of a property. Number two, a combination of parcels in which land and improvements are used for mutual economic benefit. An eco economic unit may comprise properties that are neither contiguous nor owned by the same owner. However, they must be managed and operated on a unitary basis and each parcel must make a positive economic contribution to the operation of the unit economic vacancy number one the rent loss between market rents and con contract rents for the occupied units in a property for instance the portion of potential gross income that is not collected number two Vacancy expressed as a percentage of potential gross revenue. For a property with a mix of rental rates, the physical vacancy rate and the economic vacancy rate may not be the same if spaces with higher or lower rental rates have disproportionate amounts of vacancy. See also physical vacancy. Econo uh, economies of scale. Reduction in cost of production per unit due to a large number of items produced. Economy Hotel. 
a lodging facility that can offer substantially lower rates due to high volume, lower initial investment costs, and efficient operations. Edge City, number one, a suburb of a major city that has become an autonomous and self something sufficient or whatever. Here's a picture of economic profit. On the left side of your grid, you have economic profit. On the bottom, you have excess demand. And on the left side, on the right side, you have excess supply. Market equilibrium. And it shows it right there in the middle. Um, the dotted line shows factor costs, which go in an upswing. Um, all this orange shit is economic profit. On the top, going down, is product price. Where they meet in the middle is called market equilibrium. Once it passes market equilibrium, factor costs go up and product price goes down. The white area is now called economic loss. Over here on the bottom of your scale is time. So on the bottom you have time, on the top you have economic profit. And you can see the economic profit goes down and your factor costs go up. So all that white area is your economic loss.